Often our clients come to us when a design is still in the concept stage and the client is looking to develop the color palette of the design. For example, one of our clients came to us knowing that a Pantone color would be used in the final design and yet they weren't sure which Pantone they wanted to use. They had a list of colors in mind and asked us to separate the files with multiple versions. As you can see, the product in this example is made up of CMYK and the background and solid color elements are a Pantone color. We used Open Color as an efficient tool to test different color variations without the cost of doing any testing on press. In Open Color, we created a new project adding in the parameters of our job, such as press type, paper type, varnish, etc. We added in our characterization data, in this case, Grackle 2013, and also added in the first Pantone color. We calculated the proof profile for our P7000 printer and published it so that it's available for use in color proof. Then, in the separation tab, we created a separation from RGB to CMYK with channel extender. This will give us a five color separation, CMYK plus the Pantone color. After calculating the separation, this profile becomes available in Photoshop in the color plugin or in color server. This is where the magic happens. In Photoshop, using the color plugin, we are able to take the RGB file and apply the five color profile that we just created. The software intelligently looks at the file and uses the right amount of ink per channel to give us the best separation possible. This separation is able to maintain gray balance and proper hue, targeting back to our original visual intent. Now that the file is separated, I can proof it through color proof make a hard copy proof, and make any fine tune adjustments I like in Photoshop. We use the same process for each Pantone color that the client requested. This is such a useful tool in the creative process because it opens up so many possibilities. Our clients tell us that often when designing files with Pantone color overprints, they would guess or make printouts that were inaccurate and ask clients to reference a Pantone chip. Then, they might spend weeks in rounds of color trying to get an approved print. At the end of that process, they still didn't have a file with a proof to match, so getting that same result on press was often a major headache. With this new way of working, the clients can get an accurate view very quickly of the true color of their designs. It makes the approval process streamlined, saving time, money, and lots of frustration.